when the Royal Dutch Marine snipers come to Grafenveer for training, it's for a compelling reason. The ranges are too short in the Netherlands to provide a long-range precision fire. So that's why we come uh, here every, uh, every year, twice. Uh, Americans are very uh, cooperative. The ranges are very, very long, so we can uh, go up, well, 1,800 meters. Troops looking to become Royal Dutch Marine snipers must first pass the five-week marksmanship course in Grafenveer training area, which includes firing at moving targets and at unknown distances. But the ranges at Grafenveer offer more than just size. It's got a uh, different uh, wind, and the wind is very important to uh, let the guys shoot, to be uh, experts in wind calling and weather. It's really hard because you got a, really, uh, a lot of bumps and the bumps is just twisting the wind around so they have really uh, make good uh, calls in the wind. In addition to passing marksmanship during the day, the snipers in training must be able to hit targets in the dark of night. And uh, Most of the, our uh, action is happening at night. Uh, we use the cover of darkness most of the time as an advantage. Uh, the students can train here on this uh, graphic training area with the, our night vision system so they can see the, the advantages and the disadvantages of the system. Those who pass the course will still have more challenges and examinations before becoming full-fledged snipers. They may even train with British and American snipers. When you're a barber, you don't want to you know, wash hair from people, you want to cut it. So yeah, I don't want to be only a Dutch, yeah, not only a Dutch sniper, but I want to be everything. Army Sergeant Brian Vorse, Grafenveer Training Area, Germany.